Okay. A350. Hobby King version of the Armex 350. Supposed to be. As you can see there, the battery is charged 4.13 and 4.12. But my battery input voltage at the main charging is 0.2027. Started off at approximately 0.4. And still dropping. Now I've noticed when you open so all in one box, the contact in this is not very good. Um, for some reason, well, not for some reason they've they, they've coated everything with a varnish, and unfortunately they've coated the terminals as well with the varnish, so you're not getting very really good contact. So I'll wiggle this a little bit. See if that changes a bit. Uh, let's just check that. So if I see, ah, there you go. All I've done is I've just moved the plug, and the voltage changed. And now it's all good. So I need to pull it apart. Take the little four screws out the bottom and clean up the terminals and we'll have a look again. Look, it's spiking again as I move it a bit, the voltage changes. Because of that, some people are having difficulties with overcharging. And oh, look at those spikes. I'm just moving the plug a little bit. Just very bad contact. Alright. I'll come back when I pull it apart. Alright, so that's how it looks on the inside. There's no reason why if you're using your XT60 and it works on XT60, there's no reason why it shouldn't work on that one there, that one there, that one, or your glow plug socket, or that one there. It's all serial linked, sorry, par uh, parallel linked, yep, they're all directly linked, same as those ones there, directly parallel linked, it's running on the same circuit board, down there, on the top, oh, it's very difficult to see, there's, there's some lines there, but um, same with this one, um, the Dean's plug will work, because it's all in the same thing. So I turn that thing around, you can see it's one circuit board. Uh, some bad bloody solder splatter, but anyway. Um, it's all been coated with varnish. This is all varnished. Supposed to, not supposed to, it helps protect everything from the elements. But unfortunately, they got varnish on the Dean's plug and all these other plugs as well. Some people just resolder them and it seems to work fine. Well, the, the when you resolder them, they heat them up and the varnish sort of descales or whatever and cleans it up a bit. So, and another thing I've noticed, it's got this humongous 30 amp fuse on it. Um, don't really know why it's got a 30 amp fuse because maximum amps you can charge this with is about. 15 amps, I'd rather put a 10 amp or 15 amp because I don't think I'll ever use 15 amps to charge But I'll I'll prefer to put a 10 amp fuse on it, but for the guys with the big batteries Obviously you'll like to put um, Big amps on it I've got some big batteries myself. I've got these beautiful zippy Zippy 6s 5000s So I'll charge them at 1c if I'm in a hurry, I'll probably go about 2C, it's about 10 amps. Um, my power supply I'm using. Oh, it's a bit difficult. Oh, let's see. I'm using a... There you go. A DC regulator supply voltage. It's 220, 240 AC. And it's 13.8, 20 amps. So, I have noticed the voltage drop. When I do ch charge my batteries at, at 5 amp or 10 amps, so it goes to about um, 13, 13 volts. 
I probably think that's why it doesn't perform that well on just 12 volts especially not with these cables um, I think it might be better always to have a bit of a higher voltage supplier like a 13.8 or a 14 or anything in between 14 and 18 volts 12 volts is, I, I wouldn't re recommend 12 volts myself but uh, that's just me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my little Dremel that's my little Dremel wire brush tool and uh, Oops, sorry for that. And I'll clean all my contacts. Get all this crap off my contacts. Oh, it's going to destroy that. So I'm going to work on that. So I'll use something smaller to clean that up. Clean that up. And I'll need to try and... I don't think there would be any wax in there. In the balance boards. But my balance boards works fine. So I'll just um, maybe take a balance plug and just push it in there a couple of times just to clear the surfaces but a uh, balance box works fine my xt60 seems to be working perfect but i had two cases where it said it's a battery break and the battery voltage weren't what it was supposed to be but again wax uh, varnish varnish on the on the terminals so i'll clean that up and i'll test it again okay clean it all off looks much better it doesn't have that varnish on it anymore so I've cleaned off all my terminals I even managed to get those little pins clean very carefully that one they've been over a little bit but that's all right um, the housing will hold it straight that's fine um, yeah so I've cleaned all my terminals off I'll expand these ones a little bit these um, EC3s, clean them all up. Tummy out. The Deans, you can see there, it's nice and clean now. No more shit on it. Um, I've checked the fuse as well. Pulled it out a couple of times, put it in. There's one loose wire there, it's not really used for anything. Just make sure it's not in the way, it's not touching anything. Don't think it's connected to the other end. But uh, yeah, just make sure you're trying. And not get it in somewhere so it doesn't short this comes off separately um, yeah I'll put it back together and give it a go sweet yeah sorry just one thing to mention these little tummy up plugs it's got little tabs that are bent outwards um, they lock this board on the front cover so they lock inside there. Uh, I'm just going to use a little small flat screwdriver like that and just um, pull in the housing and the board and just um, bend the tabs in a bit and then she will spring free. Alright, let's try that. Uh. Okay, as you can see there, the voltage spikes over there um, I've just moved the plug a bit to and throw move it to one direction yeah one direction move it to one direction and it will actually go as low as 6.2 6 6.3 ooh it goes lower than that sometimes oh, it goes much lower than that I'm still holding it to the one direction Ah, oh boy, oh boy, then I move it the other way, and should go all the way up, so I guess there must be a circuit problem inside this board, a bad solder, or a crack in the solder or something, um, I'll try something else, I'll put another battery on it, I'm going to put a three cell battery on it, and we'll have another go. Okay, I've got a three cell battery on it now. And. Oops, daisy. And I'm moving the three cell battery's plug, which is plugged into the XT60 now, not the Dean's plug. 
So it looks like there is problems with the Dean's plug. Um, shit. Okay. Um, look, I didn't even stop it. I, I just um, unplugged the one and plugged the other one in. And as you can see there, I've got my voltage there is right. If you add all these ones up, you should come close to that there, the top there. And uh, I'm moving the plug for the XT60 and she's solid. I must say I had issues with this XT60 and now that I've cleaned it off I've got no more crap on there. But the Deans is still an issue. The Deans did all the spiking here. Oh, I'll open up and I'll quickly solder it and we'll have another go. Okay. As you can see there, voltage 4.13 on the balance board, right there, and 4.12. You add them together, you get 8.25, but if you add all the other decimals, it can bring you up to 8.26, which is accurate. So that's very good. And the line's constant. And I've got the Dean's plugged in on a two cell battery, of course. And I can shake this and rattle and roll as much as I like. It stays the same. Beautiful job done, I think. I don't want to praise myself too much, but uh, I think I've fixed the charger. And if you can see that little rubbish black Dean's plug there, I removed it from this. I didn't like it that much. Believe it or not, I used to fly my KDS 550 on, on these Dean's plugs. I used to have um, 6S 5000 milliampere packs. And I had a XT60 on my speed controller and that side, oh actually, yes, on the speed controller and that side used to go to the, oh, my battery and my speed controller. So I used to fly my helicopter like that, um, didn't need much power but now that I'm getting a bit better than flying helicopters I can definitely see this difference in the power. It definitely gets more power out of it, but yeah, this is the culprit here. Um, I don't trust this. I've always had problems with these black cheapies, and if you can see inside there, oh, can't really see it, but I've got the red one in there now, the proper red one. And another thing you gotta notice. So when you do look at these things that one there has got to be in the center it was slightly off so only the bottom section of this spade was touching the inside terminal of the battery plug so uh, see that's slightly off center oops messed that one up so yeah it wasn't really touching the spade and now she is the metal little zinc plate thing, it, it just presses against this side and pushes the um, copper plate, oh well brass plate against that one knee. And it was only touching the bottom part of it and not the top part. It, it wasn't an equal distribution of, of the power or contact. So now, as you can see there, I've got it unplugged. And when I plug it back in, she will shoot straight up to 8.26. And I can wiggle, 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 wiggle. She's fixed. And I took my XT once and I put a little flat screwdriver through those little gaps there, just to expand them a little bit. Not too much, just expand them a little bit. 
and this was after I cleaned it with a wire brush and I have tested my 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 XC60 batteries and they work beautiful I can shake it and, and do whatever oh, even prove that I'll take this two cell battery off I've got a homemade battery here I'll plug it in there as you can see there 11 point Five volts. Oh, shake, 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 and she's solid. So when I charge this battery of mine at five amps, she's gonna be nice and steady. And if I put in the balance board, you can go and add up all these cells yourself. And you look at those balance board values. You can go and add all those. Bearing in mind it does have decimals behind those and it will come right up to 11.84 I hope this has been a help to everybody um, I was just fed up with having a good charger but bad connections um, this can be a very good charger if, if you do all these corrections um, unfortunately like everything else with Hobby King you gotta rework some stuff um, I made that for my big 6 cell battery so I can charge my big 6 cell battery I like to use these EC5s 5 millimeter terminals this, um, I made of mine which I bought these batteries from um, yeah I got it from them and I will not look back I won't go to the old 4 millimeter bullet terminals this is what I'll always be using of these ones here just wish this had an EC5 plug as well or a 4 millimeter as well so that you can get the amps on I guess it wouldn't matter too much it doesn't pull that much amps so I guess the XT60 is more than sufficient or just get a EC5 to an EC3 and just use the EC3 and the EC3 is a very good connection terminal um, I'll be going to EC terminals everything I've got uh, never used them before but seems to be working much better than all the other terminals yeah and I have tested that one beautiful my glow plug driver works beautiful it charges perfectly I've even had a multimeter on that to compare to the values there and she was pretty much spot on um, thank you for watching I hope everybody learned something from this. Thank you. Bye.